Employment, education, entrepreneurship, that's what the Georgia Veterans Education Center has to offer. And starting in January, they will have even more education education and opportunities. Sarah Hammond joins us live from Vector and Warner Robins to tell us about a big expansion project. Frank Lurie, it's a little dark out here now, so you can't really see the construction, but you can definitely still hear them out here working on that $3.9 million expansion here at Vector. Charlie Wilson is finishing 20 years of service in the U.S. Army. He came to Vector to prepare to transition into civilian life. The programs and opportunities that they provide can really change the life of, of anyone who, who really wants to uh, come through this course. He's almost finished with the HVAC course. It's very different from what I do active duty, and it's something that has always interested me. And uh, when this opportunity presented itself, I was a perfect drive for this for this field. Pretty soon there will be even more opportunities. Starting in January, Vector will offer four new classes in two brand new buildings. We knew that we would expand. Operations manager Terry Hamilton says they broke ground on the $3.9 million expansion project this summer. One, it's tied to the strategic industries and the needs of, of Georgia, and that's why the expansion is happening now. The new classes include certified manufacturing specialist, certified warehouse specialist, electrical construction, and industrial systems maintenance. Georgia needs workforce, veterans need jobs, and these is a good marriage in that. The new buildings sit on 11,000 square feet, and Hamilton says they recruit veterans from all over Georgia to come participate in the classes. Wilson says because of Vector, he feels ready to enter civilian life. Just, just take a chance, and it, your life will, will definitely change. It it's currently is really changing mine. Besides the HVAC course, Hamilton says they also offer welding and commercial truck driving. And depending on the class, those courses run from 4 to 15 weeks. Live in Warner Robins, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Vector opened back in 2016 through state funding, and Hamilton says he expects the construction to wrap up early next month. And those commercial truck driving classes Sarah mentioned are ahead in the community. In October of last year, the center received a $100,000 grant to help expand that course. Federal grant helps veterans and dependents get their commercial driving license in two months, tuition free. COO Patricia Ross told us the grant incentive grew their numbers and there was actually a waiting list for the class by the start of 2019. And education is not their only focus. You can think of them as student apartments for veterans who are coming from area bases or areas from, you know, outside of driving distance. The center also helps veterans find free housing while transitioning back into civilian life. Crews broke ground for new apartments, this time last year on South Armed Forces Boulevard. Five of the 90 units will be used by the center to give veterans a place to stay rent free while attending courses at Vector. Ross says the building will take about two years to complete.